We are very proud to be a part of Mossy Creek Invitational and Project Healing Waters. We remember that all the freedoms that we enjoy in this country were not free. And if it were not for the sacrifice and the incredible dedication of our men and women of the military, we wouldn't have the opportunities that we have today. So thank you to all the men and women of the military. Thank you to Project Healing Waters. And thank you so much for everything that you've done. great honor of being the tournament director for the Mossy Creek Invitational and we're here at the 12th annual event. It's hard to believe it's been so long. This event just seems to be getting better and better every year. We have a, an incredible team of volunteers, the great support of the local fly shop Mossy Creek Fly Fishing, a wonderful community, generous sponsors and of course we're always honored when the Project Healing Waters anglers come and join us for a day of fishing and fundraising for the program. This is a community effort where people will come together, volunteer, donate food, services, and everything else to make this a very, very effective fundraiser for Project Healing Waters. The funds we raise here will be given back to our programs. We've averaged about 96 cents at every dollar. And that will go right into our 220 programs across the United States. When you set, as soon as you get that hit, pull your rod tip up, keep your line nice and tight. Don't yank down, like don't clamp down on it. This is my second year of being involved in this uh, in, uh, effort, and it, it was very satisfying because I got to fish with a, a veteran of the same unit that I served with in Iraq as well. Plus, it was a great day. I caught a lot of fish, and it, can't, it doesn't get any better than that. All right, so y'all know what you're doing then? All right, cool. Bottom five. Grab your flies, luck, get your group photo, and knock them dead. Good luck this morning, guys. We can see the world through open eyes And savor all the time before it flies And every time you wake up, there's a new day Calling out your name, come join the game. Well, that's life. Take what comes along the way. That's love. Let it grow stronger every day. There's joy. As the days go passing by, there's hope. A better <laughs> life for you and I. Take our dreams and fly. Together we can try. That's life. Well, some things in this world are meant to be Like living life in peace and harmony So follow where the road will lead you Hand in hand we'll make our dreams come true Enjoy the view This organization is run by the most awesome team of volunteer workers you're ever going to find. And uh, thank you. And this year we'd like to recognize the Lewis family and the Kinney family 
as our recipients of the Spirit of Mossy Creek Award. So if you're a member of those families, could you come up here and join us? We can't thank you enough for everything you do. You define this event. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. We got some trophies. We got a trophy for the person who catches the biggest trout. We got some trophies for the people that get the most points during the day. And everybody starts thinking about that. But that's not the spirit of the Moss Creek Invitation. The spirit of the Moss Creek Invitation is fun, camaraderie, getting out on the water together, and just ha having, a, having a great day together no matter how it goes fish-wise. The first presentation we're gonna do is to the Healing Waters angler who scored the smallest fish today. <laughs> and that person is going to receive, Henry, What? The, tell them what they win. Okay, this is a restored Montague bamboo fly rod. Uh, I, I didn't measure it. It should fish a four to five weight line, fine. Uh, I put a new handle on it, new reel seat, reel seat and handle, I turn myself. Uh, but other than that, I think on this one, all the guides and everything are original. So, so it's caught a lot of fish over the years, I'm sure. Dave, what yeah, goes with that? On behalf of Virginia Angus Club of Richmond, Virginia, I'd like to present with this rod a Reddington five-way reel, reel lined, backing, and leaders. And y'all can ask Colby to set it up for your left or right-handed desire. <laughs> and the winner of this happens to be an angler who was lamenting the decision to score this fish <laughs> because they later caught a bigger fish and thought that might have been a better outcome. But it turns out that a seven inch trout is worth the restored antique bamboo fly rod and reel and it goes to Aaron Berg. The next award we'd like to give is also due to the generosity of Henry and Richard. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, and this award is gonna go to the warrior who was on the low point team for the day. That's the people who had the toughest, roughest day. And this team had a rough day. So a hand-built custom fly rod and a matching reel, a fish killing machine goes to Greg Dixon. <laughs> Congratulations on a terrible day. And the winner of the trophy, by virtue of being one of our Healing Waters Angling guests, is Richard Macias. <laughs> Mossy Creek Invitational is won by consistency. And 85 points in the morning and 86 points in the afternoon is about as consistent as you can get. So it was an exceptional day of angling by two exceptional anglers, and it's my great privilege to announce the 12th annual Mossy Creek Invitational Champions, Raymond Collette and Hans Harmon. Very well done, guys. Congratulations. I think it's important that we hear directly from our participants on the impact that this program has and what it means to them. And it's also important, I think, to recognize that we work with all disabled veterans and we work, also work with um, wounded and injured ill uh, military service members. So we got two uh, of our participants who, give, who will give a quick little testimonial of their experience with Project Killing Waters. After my last deployments and being in the position I'm in and the kind of job I do, you know, it has really hit me hard here in the last couple of years. And the Project Healing Waters is probably one of the most phenomenal programs I have ever been a part of. It's very hard for me to be in front of people. Even now, it's very hard for me to be here. There was days that I would lock myself in a room and turn the lights off, and I just wouldn't be able to move. I mean, you know, we all fired our demons, and, and Project Healing Waters, is a way that I did it. I can't believe the amount of support and generosity of all the people here and across the nation 
that support our, you know, our disabled and wounded vets. Thank you very much for your service. And uh, without the Project Healing Waters, you know, I wouldn't be here right now. Thank you very much. Uh, 50 years ago, I came home from Vietnam and feel very fortunate working through a lot of things. And I'm still not finished, but there's a lot of people out here helping me. And all you that are here today are part of that group. I want to just thank everybody and it means a lot and I'm happy to be here. And this was my test. The reason I came here is to see if I could do this right now, right here. And yep. <laughs> the motto is, this is the best day ever. That we have here this year uh, actually span more than half a century of service to their country. I mean, they go all the way back to Richard, I mean, all the way back to when Lyndon Johnson was President of the United States, to today, people who are still serving, like you. And it's, it's an incredible, incredible body of service and sacrifice. Thank you for being with us. This event is so special in so many ways because it's all about, as John Michael has said so many times today, it's all about the participants, it's all about having fun. But all in all, for all the people that donated things on the back table, donated things on the back table, Golden Corral for taking care of the sides, Fat and Sat, Sassy for the food, all of these items, so much warmth comes out of this community, we can't put a number on it. But we do have a number. And the number that we are giving today, and presenting to Todd DeGrossier, is one hundred ninety-five thousand nine five five four, and that means, folks, we get two million. Every dollar you give us today, ninety-six cents on the dollar is going to go right to our programs across the United States of America. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Todd Negotier. This organization, I think, uh, really redefines uh, what kindness is all about. Um, you know, David said we have our programs across the country. We have 219 programs, 8,300 disabled veterans, uh, wounded, ill, and injured, uh, active duty that are uh, participating in our fly fishing program. Uh, those programs are led by over 4,000 volunteers. So this is an amazing event because of the kindness uh, that you all have shown us, and uh, I'm here to tell you that I'm very grateful for that and my heart is filled with joy for it. So thank you, thank you very much. So if you'd like to be part of the continued progress of the Moss Creek Invitational, then we invite you to join us again next year for the 13th edition of the Moss Creek Invitational, which will take place as it always does on the first Saturday in June, which is the celebration of D-Day, June the 6th next year. Mark it on your calendar. Thank you all for being here. God bless you, we love you.